Welcome back. We're going to talk about how to set up your Zillow profile. Uh, maybe enhance your Zillow profile. And if you've never created one, I want to remind you, go get the workbook if you don't already have it. Everything I'm walking through in this video, we have got screen captures and a step-by-step -step instructions on how to optimize that Zillow profile. Okay, so let's just walk through the steps to create the account and then I'll just go over those key points in the areas that you want to make sure that you cover. That's all we're doing here making sure you have optimized your Zillow profile. Very important because it definitely will come up in the search engines, especially if you're using your name as the uh, username. Okay, so step one, you simply go over to Zillow.com and then you're going to see the sign in uh, area. Either that's where you'll go back to log in or you'll see new account. Now this is really important. Here's a screenshot to show you. I made this mistake in my past where I created an account and I missed that little box that says, I am a landlord or industry professional. This is the same account creation for a consumer. And if you don't check that box, you're gonna create a consumer account and you won't have access to the agent hub that I'm about to talk about, all right? So check that box if you have, it's the first time creating a Zillow. And then after you register, log in rather, you're gonna see agent hub on the main menu. So click on agent hub and then go to profile. Now this is where you need to go and you're going to now hit edit and you're gonna complete. This is a little tricky. I see a lot of people miss this. There's two places to edit on your Zillow profile. There's something called profile and about me. The about me area is where your bio is gonna go that we just talked about in the last lesson. So start with the profile and start completing all the boxes that are there, okay? So you wanna be able to have your Zillow profile really show your value proposition, your credentials, the things that are going to set you apart from the competition and it connects you to more potential clients, right? So again, make sure that your bio really, there's a good place for you to put information on your bio. And here's some additional tips from Zillow on another way to organize your bio. So specialties, list the real estate services that you provide. Do you serve buyers, sellers? Do you have a specialty or a niche area? Make sure you state it. There's places on the Zillow profile for you to put that. The expertise sort of paragraph is all about skills and the knowledge that differentiates you from the competitors in your marketplace. You know, are you the luxury leader in your market? Do you have specialized knowledge of a certain niche? If so, let people know, all right? And then credentials, this is where you list the, your years of experience. If you knew, consider leaving that information out but you can then put in any accreditations you've earned certifications and if you're new another thing you can do in your bio when you get to the area that you're wanting to talk about your experience just write some statements about your previous experience and what years of customer service experience that you're bringing to your real estate career for example uh, accomplishments it's another area that you can there's places for you to put this list any accomplishments that set you apart from the, the crowd where you recognized by uh, the company, uh, you know, that type of stuff, right? Any memberships, including NAR, any other local association memberships that you belong to. All right, so all of that, it can go into the area. There's so many areas in that Zillow profile. It'll take you a little while just to complete all the steps, okay? Then um, there is another area for you to load any past sales so you do have an opportunity you can load them one by one you can even upload a um, spreadsheet okay so if you have that to do you'll click the past sales and there'll be a drop down menu and then you need to have things like the home's full address the sold date the price and which side you of the transaction that you were on so again you can do that manually or you can um, you know upload a spreadsheet step four is to connect your listing so your listing should automatically be linked to your zillow profile by that email address that i was talking about uh, in the very beginning of this module about make sure you use the same email address that you use with your mls for your zillow profile that they, they uh that's how the listings will link uh, now if you do have a challenge with this you do have to reach out and try to help get help from zillow it's really difficult getting any customer uh, service in my opinion uh, but You'll have to try to figure that out uh, and work through those details if you have to. That's why it's super important that you uh, just make sure you use the right email when you get started. Okay, so 
if you have active listings, uh, they should be showing up as soon as you, you may need, it may take an hour or two to populate. You may need to come back later and see. And if not, you know, I've included some information in the handout for you, their partner support phone number. You can look online and, and get a sense of all that. If you uh, need to be able to reach out and get some help with problems with your profile. And, the, and in the fifth step, you're going to request reviews from past clients. There is a place to do that. Back in your profile area, you click on the request a review button and you complete the form. Uh, reviews can come from anyone you've helped with real estate, not just from closed transactions. So if you help somebody that, that was looking for homes, but they never really purchased a home for some reason, or you help somebody with a rental, you can get reviews from those folks. Okay. Uh, now the deal here on reviews is I will go into great detail on how to get client reviews in a future module. So let's leave it at that. What I want to summarize about your Zillow profile is once you've created the account and you get into that profile area, um, make the profile area is just that laundry list of things where there's opportunities for you to put in the areas you serve. Just make sure you complete everything, upload your photo, and then don't forget to go back and go to the about me area. And that's where you can cut and paste and put that bio that you've already created. And now your Zillow profile will be looking great. The only thing that you'll need is ultimately client reviews. And then you'll really stand out when somebody Googles your name. All right, join me in the next lesson. And we'll keep talking about some more of these sites that you need to have a great profile on.